The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Exodus. Setting out from Rephidim, they reached the desert of Sinai and pitched camp in the desert. There, facing the mountain, Israel pitched camp. Moses then went up to God, and Yahweh called to him from the mountain, saying, Say this to the house of Jacob. Tell the Israelites, You've seen for yourselves what I did to the Egyptians and how I carried you away on eagles' wings and brought you to me. So now, if you are really prepared to obey me and keep my covenant, you out of all peoples shall be my personal possession, for the whole world is mine. For me, you shall be a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. Those are the words you are to say to the Israelites. And our response from Psalm 100. Acclaim Yahweh, all the earth. Serve Yahweh with gladness. Come into his presence with songs of joy. Be sure that Yahweh is God. He made us. We belong to him, his people, the flock of his sheepfold. For Yahweh is good. His faithful love is everlasting. His constancy from age to age. And our second reading from the letter to the Romans. When we were still helpless at the appointed time, Christ died for the godless. You could hardly find anyone ready to die, even for someone upright. Though it is just possible that for a really good person, someone might undertake to die. So it is proof of God's own love for us that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. How much more can we be sure, therefore, that now that we have been justified by his death, we shall be saved through him from the retribution of God? For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, how much more can we be sure that being now reconciled, we shall be saved by his life? What is more, we are filled with exultant trust in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have already gained our reconciliation. In a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew, And when Jesus saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers to his harvest. He summoned his twelve disciples, and he gave them authority over unclean spirits, with power to drive them out, and to cure all kinds of disease and all kinds of illness. Now these are the names of the twelve apostles. First Simon, who was known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who was also his betrayer. These twelve Jesus sent out, instructing them as follows. Do not make your way to Gentile territory, and do not enter any Samaritan town. Go instead to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those suffering from virulent skin diseases, drive out devils. You received without charge, now give without charge the gospel of the Lord.